everyone i am anita assistant professor department of english sf fatima college mumbai today we are going to see about the key aspects of victorian age the victorian age is named after queen victoria queen Victor victoria became the queen in 1837 at the age of 18 and ruled for England for 68 years until her death 1901 so the period from 1837 to 1901 is called the victorian era the victorian age exactly comes after the romantic age the victorian age starts with the reign of the queen victoria this age is also known as the compromise william j lock in his book writes for this age the modern period of progress and unrest queen victoria often claimed for her great empire and the people of england adore her and admire her for her great march by the mid 1800 great britain was the largest exporter and importer of goods in the world it was the primary manufacturer of goods and the wealthiest country in the world so in during queen victorian period england became more famous for its exports and imports there are there is a great progress in social and political reform the reform bill is a series of voting in the british parliament various acts were framed during this reform bill let's see some of the acts here 1832 the first reform act granted the vote to almost all male members of middle classes in 1833 the factory act regulated the child laborer in for the child laborer in factories in 1834 poor law amendment established which it is a system for workhouses for poor people in 1867 the second reform act gave the vote to skilled working women 1871 trade union act legalized trades unions in 1884 the third reform act granted the right to vote all male householders let's see the role of women in victorian period in during victorian era the women starts asking questions which means women became empowering changing conditions of women's work created the industrial revolution during this victorian period some of the acts were framed for supporting women let's see some examples for you the factory acts framed 1802 it regulates of the conditions of laborers in mines and factories the custody act which framed in 1837 gave a mother the a right to petition the court for access to her minor children and custody of children under 7 and later 16 so uh, during victorian period women became more empowering and we can see most number of women writers in during this period queen victoria gave importance to education which uh, it results literacy publications and reading queen victoria is uh, compelled to give a uh, uni- universal education to all children especially who is under age 10 novels and short fictions were published in serial form in order to improve a reading habit of their country by the end of the century literacy was almost a universal during this time gothic literature flourished gothic literature is an example of fantastic fiction which combined romantic and horror victorian novels ha- are mostly realistic with a variety of classes we can see the major theme of the victorian novels is showing individuality women uh, were major writer during this victorian period examples of in victorian novels for brought a sister george eliot and many more
Victorian poetry gave a new base of telling stories. Victorian poets always strong influence of romance because as the age comes after the romantic period. Victorian drama flourishing of theatres. Oscar Wilde, Bernard Shaw are examples of Victorian dramatists. We can see a characteristics of Victorian age, intellectual development, industrial revolution, morality, the new education, the revolt, and many more. During the Victorian era, Victor, Victorian era began in 1837 and ended with Queen Victoria's death 1901. The Victorian period was also known as the age of transition, which highly moral purpose. So, if this, these are uh, main key aspects of Victorian age in a short note. Thank you.